Down goes Cuomo. Down goes Cuomo. So late last night, the Supreme Court ruled against Governor Andrew Cuomo. So we're going to check out the article. It says, uh, Supreme Court rules against Cuomo's coronavirus limits, with Barrett playing a key role. Chief Justice Roberts sided with the court's liberals and the dissenting opinion. That guy Roberts is a big problem. Big problem. So let's go on and see what the article has to say. The U.S. Supreme Court on Wednesday night blocked New York Governor Andrew Cuomo from reimposing his strict attendance caps at worship services in the areas hit hard by the novel coronavirus, or the China virus, or the China plague as I like to call it. The court ruled 5-4 to bar Cuomo from enforcing his October 6th cluster initiative against House of Worship that sued to challenge the restrictions. The order... The order was also the first in which Justice Amy Coney Barrett played a decisive role. We all know Barrett was uh, appointed by Trump. We all know that. Good job, Trump. Says, Meanwhile, Chief Justice Roberts joined the court's liberal wing in the dissenting opinion, which stated the court had acted rashly. Yeah, nah. Shocking, shocking. I don't even know why that guy that guy's there. But, you know, whatever. Cuomo's initiative had created a color cord, I'm sorry, color coded limits on massive gatherings and business operations. In an effort to stem the outbreak in New York City areas that were experiencing a surge in the cases. It was aimed at houses of houses of worship. Let's see what Neil Gorsuch had to say about this. It is time, past time, to make plain that while the pandemic poses many grave challenges. There is no world in which the Constitution tolerates color-coded executive etiquettes that reopen liquor stores and bike shops, but shutter churches, synagogues, and mosques. Facts. At the same time the governor has chosen to impose no capacity restrictions on certain businesses he considers essential. As it turns out, the business the governor considers essential, including hardware stores, acupuncturists, uh, liquor stores, bicycle repair, repair shops, certain synage companies, accountants, lawyers, and insurance agents are all essential too. So, at least according to the governor, it may be unsafe to go to church, but it's always fine to pick up another bottle of wine shop for a new bike, for a new bike, or spend the afternoon exploring your <laughs> what was it, distal points and meridians. Who knew the public health would so perfectly align with secular convenience? I think he's trolling, but that, that's pretty that's pretty funny. That's that's pretty good. Now let's see what the ACLU has to say about this. The American Civil Liberties Union condemned the decision and warned it could undermine New York's efforts to curb to curb the pandemic. The freedom to worship is one of our most cherished fundamental rights. But it does not include a license to harm others or endanger public health. This is the director of the ACU uh, program of freedom and religion belief. Okay, this is the guy. Okay. So here's the thing about the ACLU and, and actually Cuomo. This is actually really interesting. You know, it's funny how they want to, you know, close these synagogues and, you know, mass gatherings of um, religious people and everything like that. But these same people did not condemn the riots the looting the protests for black lives matter all those thousands and actually across the country millions of people in the streets they didn't condemn them that's very very interesting right so it's very it's it's selective enforcement of these things and so that wasn't a problem with the coronavirus but people you know in synagogues and everything like that that's a problem large numbers that's a problem but when the people also were celebrating uh president um elect biden when he won that wasn't a problem. No big deal. Oh, they're allowed. People can protest for Black Lives Matter, and that's fine. We have to be sensitive to that, right? So they have nothing to stand on, as far as I'm concerned. They have no leg to stand on. And they're hypocrites, and they're liars. And they're, you know, they say that this shouldn't be a political thing, but obviously it is a political thing. Because if you're not saying anything about the protests, but you're staying, saying stuff about this, then it is a political thing. These people are absolute hypocrites. Governor Cuomo, he thinks he's like this mafioso. He thinks he's like a gangster. And he's calling Trump a dictator, and he was even calling some sheriffs dictators the other day for not enforcing his nonsense. But he himself is a dictator, and he, he thinks he can do whatever he wants. We'll see what happens going forward. This is, this is a, a victory for us as far as I'm concerned. I want to see more of this. 
I think that Cuomo has overstepped his boundaries and he's going to continue to do so unless somebody checks him. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you enjoy my content, like, share, subscribe. This is Mike from Bensonhurst. Keep banging.